You have to dominate the person you were yesterday to be the person you want to be tomorrow. Man Time Fitness is a mindset, a way of life, and a weapon. All right, you guys, welcome back to another highly beneficial video brought to you by Man Time Fitness. Today, I got my cousin, my nutritionist right here, Jemay Nichols. And as promised, we are going to go over a real CMOS versus quotation marks fake CMOS video. We're going to compare and contrast the differences um, between the two. All right, so right here we have some potent CMOS from under um, underscore the C. Underscore Moss, um, the big brother Abdul King, Black Wolverine, my business partner and companion. Uh, just started a CMOS business. We cop some CMOS from him. I'm going to put, you know, the accounts and everything in the description below. Uh, I'll try and put it like on the subtitles or something at the bottom. Um, so that was from him. And this is some other CMOS that is from an unknown source. Okay. So you can see the difference between the two. One's, you know, the first difference is that you can see the colors, okay? Mm -hmm. You can see the colors are, are a lot different. However- That's due to minerals. Okay, we're, we're gonna get into all of that. Right, okay, right. he said he has, it has something to do with the minerals. All right, so as you can also see, this is, you know, from the same, from the same source that, it, that this is from and this is from an unknown source, okay? So, I've been taking CMOS for, I first got introduced to CMOS back in 2019. I was fresh out of prison and uh, the big brother Mustafa, Mustafa Blackman, uh, from out there, in, from the Salafi Masjid out there on 18th of Monroe in DC, had introduced me into CMOS. He has his own business, shout out to bro. Uh, official with the nutritional gu uh, guidance, um, introduced me into it, uh, to the CMOS. He has some, this, this, this really good ginger juice that I got to get up on him and get again. Uh, they had CMOS and cucumbers and stuff in it. Mm. So, um, didn't really resonate to continue to pursue taking CMOS until right before the pandemic transpired. So February of 2020 of last year. I started taking CMOS on the regular, um, and I was taking this right here. I was taking this right here, okay? And when I was taking it, I was going through like a detox phase, <laughs> but I was still eating bull crap, <laughs> so we can't really say it was a detox, but however, I saw the benefits. I felt the benefits, and when I was taking this CMOS from the unknown source, I was expelling a lot of mucus, which is a common side effect to taking CMOS. I was expelling um, mucus so much that I thought I had COVID. I thought I had COVID uh, because, you know, like I said, this was around a year ago when everything first took place. Um, but I didn't, you know, it was just a side effect. And uh, I had more energy. My digestive system improved rapidly. You know, I was having a, a nice clean stool. I wasn't wiping several times. One wipe and I was out of the bathroom after I washed my hands, of course. And fast forward to today. We now got our hands on what is known as the straight drop. <laughs> okay. So this stuff right here is wonderful. The first difference that I can really point out is the taste. Yeah. The taste. Mm -hmm. When... You know, because I take a lot of bladder rack as well, which is another form of sea algae that I believe contains 60% yeah. minerals yeah. of the, what the body's made of. Seamoss just has more. Seamoss has more. Has more. About 90%. It leaches onto the rock. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, when I was taking the bladder rack with or without the unknown source, um, it was a very disgusting taste. Anybody that ever tasted bladder rack knows what yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah. Without the bladder rack, it still has a very foul taste. Just my opinion. Um. So when I when I haven't mixed and did any experiments with the bladder rack with 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 this yet, but inshallah I'll get around to it. However, the taste is so much cleaner. It tastes 
basically like water. It tastes like Fiji water or whatever type of water you drink. It tastes very clean. Very clean. I can't stress that enough. That was the first um, difference um, when it comes to taste. Now, physical wise, you can see, and I'm going to get up close on the camera a little bit later on into the video. Um, so you can see that one is really stringy. It looks like hay. And then this right here is really thick. It's really thick, okay? Um, this doesn't really have, it has little to no salt on the sea moss. On, 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 you know, from bros, you know, wherever he gets the stuff from, it, it's, it's a legitimate place. Mm -hmm. You know, he's not telling me, so don't even expect for him to tell you. <laughs> right. uh, but with this stuff right here, like I said, like it has salt on it. And one thing that has been well known is, is two things, is that the unknown source could perhaps be from China, because they say they have sea moss in China. Um, and we know that the waters in China, you know, it's not like St. Lucia. <laughs> uh, so, you know, or perhaps it was farm raised, which is where the fake quote unquote sea moss factor comes into play at. And the reason why I don't really like using that term is because of, like I said, a year ago I was taking it and I saw the effects immediately. Um, it's but, just like this. No, no, I'm going I'm I'm to let you talk. Right, right, I'm going right, to let him talk. But perhaps, perhaps the reason why I saw the benefits so much was because my body was so sick. My body was so sick from all the cheese that I've been eating over the years, from eating all of the starch, all of the chicken, all of the fish, the seafood, all of this stuff built up in my system. So it did have some effect. But I will tell you this, it came a time where I would have to start taking bladder rag with it in order to still see some type of energy, some type of energy, some type of focus level and still maintain a clean digestive system. OK, um, gosh, I lost my chain of thought. I know, started talking. I know, I know. But um, so, yeah, that could perhaps be a reason. But with the farm raised sea moss, quote unquote, um, which, which, which this is what can perhaps be, um, you got to think of it like this. Have you ate salmon fish before? No. <laughs> I'm talking about before you switched over. No, no, never had salmon? No, not an ever. Like he was a steak guy when yeah. we were growing up. He liked a lot of steak. Yeah. You know, I like, you know, chicken and fish. That was never big on red meat. Yeah. Anyways, cut to the chase. Um, when you have these two sea monsters, right, you got to think of wild catched salmon and farm raised salmon. Right. Farm raised salmon, you know, it can be polluted. You know, they, 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 they got these fish that are piled up on top of one another, you know, doing all types of things in this closed environment. And it takes away from, I guess, the nutritional value of the fish. Not only that, they shoot it up with all types of stuff. That's why when you get it in the store, it's all red. You know, salmon fish, I mean, I don't believe that, you know, when you catch it out in the wild, that it's that red, you know. Um, however, wild caught salmon, you, you taste the taste, like the... I mean, excuse me, you can, um, I said taste the taste. You can um, identify, like if you're a fish eater, uh, what is what. You know, for pescatarians out there, they really know what the salmon game is hitting on. Like, they can tell if this is farm raised or if it's not. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of like how you got with the two. You got that and this. So, um, I'm going to let go, uh, bro, you know. Yeah. Give us, you know, drop some jewels on us. See, the reason why you was feeling, it was doing everything it, it was supposed to do. But that's like, what, if you what, take what the, fake, the fake sea moss, okay. the farm-raised sea moss, which this definitely is. It's like, um, like an example. If I grew up in Brazil and we had mangoes the size of my fist and I come to the United States and I see these gigantic mangoes the size of two fists or three, even three fists, I've seen some humongous. Mangoes don't grow that big. You get what I'm saying? So even though it's farm, it, it was farm raised, they, they still could have did whatever. You get what I'm saying? They could have did whatever with it, but you're still getting some benefits, but that's why you had to take with the bladder racks. You get what I'm saying? Over time. Right, over time. Over time yeah. See what I'm saying? So you don't farm raised. They don't. It doesn't. It doesn't grow from a rock. They just grow it in a pool with. You don't know what they're putting in it. 
and then they just throw uh, salt all over and they put it in the packaging and they just distribute it. That's how they do it. But this, if you put this on a rock and you leave it in water, it's gonna, it's definitely gonna attach, bro. And you can just smell it. This, this stinks, man. Yeah. This, this shit stinks. This smell like chlorine, honestly. But yeah, this, you can smell, you can smell the two. It's just different. It's just yeah. different. But yeah, of course you're gonna get the, of course you're gonna get the nutrition and all that and. You know, it's going to clean you out and all that, but to a certain extent, because they've tampered with it. That's my point. That's why you were feeling, you were feeling great. You were good. You were good. But it's still, it, you, you can't, you can't get to, to, to here if they done tampered with it. You're only going to get up to here. That's why you had to take the bladder axe because it was so pure and potent and people don't really, they're not really big on bladder axe. People don't even know what it really is. Same with the chamomile and other herbs that I know about. But since, you know, it's a trend. Everybody wants sea moss and this and that. So guess what they're going to do? They're going to tamper with it. They're going to find a way Good to point. overproduce it. Good point. Like, like cows and chickens and stuff like that. Because we overpopulate all those animals. So I don't know how the hell they reproducing them as the, the pace that they're doing. Same thing with this. So, of course, they had to inject it or do whatever and raise it to be so big so they can make a profit. But you can obviously tell which one is real and yeah, which one's not. Yeah, good point. Yeah. You know, to raise it, for it to be raised to be so mm -hmm. big. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, later on in the video, I'm going to go in depth until yeah. how much this really stretches out. Yeah. I wish I had a scale right here. I'm going to put it on the scale later on in the video, inshallah. Uh, but when you drop this, and some clean alkaline or spring water, uh, it will expand yep. tremendously. Yep. I'm talking about this much, this much sea moss, right? This much sea moss, it's about a handful. It's about a handful, right? Will expand, gosh, how can I say yeah, it? Yeah, it's like. It, it will expand at least six folds. Like at least sponge. Six, at like least six sponge. times, bro. Yeah. Yeah. At least six times, bro. Yeah. It, will, it will expand to like about four, handfuls of sea moss. And that's because it's collecting all the minerals from the water and it's growing. It's growing. It's alive. Yeah. It's alive. It's electrical. So that's why it's doing that. That's so, exactly why it's doing that. Like I said, it is well worth the money to get the real thing. Like people mm -hmm. do sell it for um a large amount of number uh, excuse me, uh, a high number mm -hmm. as compared to the farm rate sea moss. Um but bro has really good prices. Bro's a wholesaler, like I said, I'm going to have his stuff in the bio or in the description below uh, so you can tap in. And also another thing, you see this? This don't have, this doesn't have any color to it. It does. So that's how you know that it was farm raised because if it had, if it, if it, if it was real, you see the colors, these are minerals. If you go to any hot spring around the world and you look at the bottom of the water on the ground, you see a whole bunch of colors and that's due to minerals. This don't got no minerals. So that's how you know something's not right with this. That's that's how you know but, something's not right. Okay, but if you go, cause like this bag, like I said, I'm gonna show you guys with this thing hitting on. Like, bro, this bag contains, and like I've seen some of bros, this, some of bros work. Um, like here, this this is a good, this is a good example. See, this is green. It's you iron. Got, you got high amount of iron. You got, you got green sea moss. You know, that's an actual thing. You got a green sea moss and it does have a tan color. Mm -hmm. It does have a tan color. Mm -hmm. So like, would this would be considered Irish sea moss, green sea moss, um, purple sea moss, blue sea moss. I mean, this is all in here. This is all in this bag. Bro has that on deck. High octane 93, boy, that's, that's gas. <laughs> that's gas, baby. <laughs> But yeah, bro, like, I mean, so what do you, I guess what I'm getting at, my question to you is, so if it's tan, strictly tan, but it still has this stringy texture like this, does that still mean it's been tampered with? Look how big it is. Okay, so it comes from the size, not the color. It comes from just the common sense. Like I said, if you, if you, were, if you were a person that originated in Costa Rica, Brazil, Honduras, wherever, you're gonna know the difference. You exactly. know what I'm saying? You're gonna see a you're gonna see a mango growing from your tree. But a lot of us aren't. Right, right, right. So, but I'm what okay. I'm asking is this: is that so? Does the color play a factor, or is it the size? I'd say it's both. It's definitely both. 
in regards to telling if it's fake or because not. Because this grew together. Yes. This grew together, right? Yes. You see it's barely tan. It has minerals and barely all that. Barely tan. It right. Is. It, is, it has red, green, all these different colors. This one don't got no color. Right. And this one is twice the size. It's like, like I said, that's like if you take a, a, a mango from somewhere else and you bring it to the United States and you see the mangoes that you get at Walmart and you see how humongous they are, they, everybody's going to tell you that. Nah, man, that's not, that's not good. That's not, why is this growing that big? It shouldn't be growing that big. It's growing overly sized. So, and, and uh, another thing, like I said, is just like the cows and the chickens and all this stuff. Yeah. What do they do? They mass produce it. Same thing that you see here. They're mass producing it. They're doing whatever to it for it to grow this big. They have grown it in a farm with whatever they seem, whatever they want to do, that's what they do. That's that's farm raised, period. <laughs> like, right. like, I don't know how to explain it to you guys. I mean, and you could just smell it as well, but yeah, this grew obviously together. So you can see all the colors and stuff like that. You can tell that it has minerals. Okay. Yeah. Cool, solid. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, that's it for now. We're gonna go back to you guys later on and we're gonna do the, uh, we're gonna show you guys compare and contrast on once we drop it in that bucket, how much it expands and the difference. Right. All right, see y'all later. Okay guys, we're back in the lab. Um, gonna put together a sea moss situation using the fruity pebbles is what I like to call it. Using under the sea moss, sea moss. I'm going to try and put a whole two ounces in there. Okay. Zoom in a little bit more so you can see that. It's two ounces that we're going to drop in the bucket right now. And we're going to watch and see how that thing expands and stretches out. And also, we're going to drop some of this farm raised or fake sea moss, whatever you want to call it, inside the um, the water. And we're also going to see how that expands. Okay, so that's about 2.4. Take a little bit out. A little bit too much. Okay, well, that should be enough. All right, so I want to show you guys the comparison with this, all right? So, look at this, okay? This is 2.2 ounces. 2.2 ounces, all right? Now, when you look over here, as you can see, that is not the same. That is not the same. All right. Zoom in on that on that scale. All right. It's a totally different ball game, man. Totally different ball game. The sea moss is virtually coming out of the cup when you're dealing with the real deal. Holy field. As you can see, it's already expanding. We're gonna let that sit overnight, 7.25 p.m. We're gonna wake up tomorrow around five, six o'clock, inshallah, and we're gonna see the difference in the expansion. Okay, guys, it's 6.19 in the morning. We're about to see what happened overnight with the sea moss. This is the so-called, quote-unquote, fake sea moss. And we're going to take a look and see. Okay. Let's 
Okay. So you can look at one versus the other. You will see a major difference in the quantity as well as the quality. You know, we already discussed the, the quality aspect of these two. I just actually remembered that I have a client that is requesting some burdock root infused sea moss. So I'm actually going to put a tablespoon of burdock root powder in there before I blend this up. see we have a 16 ounce mason jar and this is pretty much you could you know size it up it's going to fill up the whole entire jar um, let's see what it is let's see what this two ounces gets us see with the two ounces that I put in there like like doesn't even add up man I don't know what it is but this stuff right here it's just something ain't right with it man it has its benefits don't get me wrong like we said earlier in the video um it, it it does contain benefits it contains benefits because of me myself I went through the side effect phase where I was you know puking up mucus congested uh for quite some time uh while i was taking this same exact sea moss you know it's farm raised or fake uh sea moss and uh it, it just wasn't resonated with my body to the full extent as you know when i take you know regular real sea moss you know the stuff is great though the stuff is great man you just gotta I mean, well, this stuff is great you know <laughs> but uh you gotta you gotta take this stuff on a regular man this is not something that you one quick fix you know you gotta still eat right when you take sea moss um you know my suggestion is stay away from dairy i've been plant-based for some time now and it just all depends on your body type as well I'm not going to tell people that, oh, chicken is, you know, bad for you, this, that, and the third. But I will say this, the chickens here in America are bad for you. The cow that we eat, the red meat that we eat here in America is bad for you, you know. This is, yeah, bro, this, this right here is, like, unacceptable, you know. We got about probably, like, six ounces in here as compared to... 24 excuse me this is about 12 this is about eight so about 20 ounces of the real sea moss you know, six ounces of the arm raised sea moss you know so choice is up to you man okay guys there you have it another highly beneficial video brought to you by man time fitness is in the books if you guys like that video hit the like button share save and subscribe all that good stuff and be on the lookout for more nutritional guidance uh, videos that we will be giving you guys later on this month, inshallah. And we will also be showing you guys some tutorial videos from weightlifting to calisthenics, all that good stuff on how to get that beach body this summer. 
And also, if you guys are interested in purchasing any of our CMOS products, please go to mantafitness.com to see what we have available for you. We have everything from burdock root infused with the CMOS, sarsaparilla root uh, infused with CMOS, all types of stuff, man. So uh, until next time, I'm out of here. Stay strong. I'm to dominate the person you were yesterday, to be the person you want to be tomorrow. Mantown Fitness is a mindset, a way of life, and a weapon.